Five more minutes, please. Hello guys, my name is Doug and we haven't seen each other for a tiny little while. And frankly, I'm still in a vacation mode, so I'm definitely not planning to work today. Instead, I'll hire people to work for me. I'm sure that you've heard about this website called Fiverr, where you can hire people to do basically anything for you. The question is, can they create graffiti for me? Graffiti is a quite unique thing, and I assume that it's gonna be a big problem to get some solid graffiti on Fiverr. So yeah, let's see if my assumption is true. Here we are on Fiverr. I created the profile with the name Frankly2020 because yeah, I don't know why. And let's jump straight into it. Find the service. I want graffiti. And here we go. Results for graffiti, the first eight. Well, to be honest, this is exactly what I expected. When I see the first guy, this is a traditional internet graffiti. The style of this thumbnail just screams. I make traditional internet graffiti. What's that? Well, it's this. What do you see in the thumbnail? I just, I can't describe it better. Whoa. Okay, this is, this, this is not good. And this is the number one seller. He has five orders in queue. Okay. Frankly, to me, this seems like a graffiti created by some graffiti generator or something like that. Simple graffiti, 20 euros. Standard, 44 euros. Cool graffiti design. What's premium? 60 euros. Awesome graffiti design. I'll create a hand-drawn graffiti design or logo. Fiverr's choice. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to see if this guy has a, has a style, like a graffiti style. But to be honest, I can't really see it. Once again, I would call this a traditional internet graffiti. Like this font over here, I don't know, lab rat. But the characters look quite good. I I'm just curious if he creates them or he just downloads them from somewhere and he put it all together. What are the prices? 20 euros. Okay, seems fair. Two words, 60 euros. It's not so cheap, but I mean, as an artist, these are fair prices. It's still quite low for an original artwork. What's premium? 100 euros. I'll create awesome graffiti hand style lettering. Okay, this looks great. Although to me, it looks like a uh, font, like a font that you can download. I mean, usually that's a good thing when you are able to create such a font with your hand, but I'm just a little bit basic, five euros standard, nine euros premium, 14 euros. What else? I'll create t-shirt design with graffiti style. Let's see. Nah. I'll create a very unique graffiti illustration for your brand. Very unique seems good to me. Let's see. These are some nice sketches. What? There's 10 more pages of stuff like this, of guys who create something what's connected to graffiti. All right, I'll go through all these pages right now and I'll show you what I picked in a second. I got good news and bad news. The good news are that in these 10 pages, I fortunately found some guys who creates solid graffiti. The bad news are that I'm about to spend a lot of money. So here's my choice. The number one guy on my order list is this one, the number one graffiti seller with these, these, these awesome, but I won't choose premium option because I don't really need 16 letters. Standard is okay. 10 letters, I'll get cool graffiti design. Well, I doubt that, but yeah. The second guy on my order list is the most expensive one. However, I don't really think that he's the best one. His work is, in my opinion, 
quite good, although I think that there are a lot better guys on my list, but he will be the most expensive one because he is the most expensive one. The guy number three is the one with these hand styles. This is gonna be cheap because I'll pick the basic option. I don't really need three styles from him. One will be completely enough. Number four, look at this. Finally a guy who creates traditional sketches on paper, it's not digital. Even better, I like the sketches, for example, this one over here looks pretty good to me. And I'll go for premium option for 31 euros. Number five is another guy who creates uh, digital sketches, but these sketches look quite good to me. And I'll go for standard option because the premium one, I don't really see a benefit in this one, so I'll pick standard one for 31 euros. Number six is one of my favorite guys that I found. Look at this. These are really, really good digital sketches, graffiti sketches. I see a style, I like it. Yeah, I'm really curious what this guy is gonna create. I'll pick the premium option with more complex, more details, more colors. I want more, okay? I'll go premium with this guy because I think that he deserves the money. Number seven is this um, calligraphy or spray paint guy who creates these tags, which look like a spray paint. And the last one is this guy with uh, 3D graffiti or, or, or styles or whatever it is. Well, it is graffiti and it's super cheap. I mean, five euros for this. I have no idea how he's gonna create it, but well, let's try it. And so these are the guys that I picked. Right now I'm gonna order the sketches from all of them. I'll let them know what I expect from them and I'm gonna continue with my vacation and in about seven days well for you in about 10 seconds I'll share the results all right see you <coughs> all righty guys it's been about a week since I ordered right now I'm gonna share with you the tasks that I created for each of these guys and I'm gonna show you the final results and I'll tell you if they fulfilled my expectations all right so let's start with the guy number one the guy with awesome graffiti design I paid him 44 euros and this is what I wanted from him I asked him to create a graffiti sketch with the name of my city where I live Bratislava and I gave him this reference picture it's a picture of my own piece and I was just curious if he can somehow use it after a little while he sent me the first sketch which looked like this to be honest I didn't really like it. For example, the letter A, like this is B, R. Where is letter A? Where's L? Where's A? I didn't like these things. And so I asked him if he can repair them. Well, to be honest, I asked him that twice because I was still not satisfied. But after two adjustments, he adjusted the sketch. I think that right now you can see what it actually says. And then he added the colors which was a little problem for me because he just took what I've done in my reference picture and he did just that. I mean, that's the point of reference pictures, but I was kind of disappointed and so I asked him if he can uh, create something a little bit different. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I was a little bit annoying to him, but here we go. This is the final result that I got for 44 euros. It's a sketch which says Bratislava and I think, well, I have to say that this guy really surprised me because when I've seen his uh, bio, when I've seen what he offers, these sketches, for example, I was really afraid. But when I see this sketch, I mean, yeah, I think that it looks quite good. Okay, and right now the guy number two, the most expensive guy. I paid this artist 
112 euros overall, which is the highest price that I paid in this video. And I asked him to create a sketch which says, Doke is a rush. Yeah, I wanted him to paint both of my names. And I asked him to add Shiba Inu characters. Because you know, um, you know why I asked him to do that. For the highest price, I expected a really good service. And yeah, this guy was communicating pretty well. He was sending me rough sketches and so on. And this is the final result from him. I actually forgot that I asked him to add Galaxy into the background. And yeah, when I'm looking at this, I have to say that I'm pretty satisfied. When I'm looking at the characters, I'm not really sure how he created them, but well, the final result is the only thing that matters. And in case of characters, I like them a lot. In case of the sketches, well, um, it's a quite nice, simple style. I don't like it that much. Yeah, I would expect uh, something better for the highest price that I paid today, but the guy number three is the least expensive one. I paid six euros to this guy. It's the guy with these uh, lettering uh, tags and calligraphy stuff. Well, I just asked him to create a doker sketch or tag. And this is what he created. Well, I probably didn't tell him that I want doker, but doke. But yeah, hey, uh, this is it. I'm still a little bit suspicious that this is just some font, but it still might be a font created by him. In that case, it would be completely okay. Maybe it's handwritten and adjusted in Adobe Illustrator or whatever, but yeah, a really nice solid tag for six euros. The artist number four is one of my favorite ones because he creates the sketches on a paper. His style is more traditional graffiti stuff. And so I paid 32 euros to him and I asked him to create a solid graffiti sketch with a name Doke. And this is what he created. Just look at that. I like it a lot. It's a really nice sketch. Oh, I even, look. This is a little like letter game. It says Doke once again. You can see that it's created on the paper. This is a lovely sketch for a lovely price because 30 euros for this, that's cheap. The artist number five is the 3D guy. I was really excited about these 3D styles and man, for, for five euros, this is the least expensive artist on my list, but yet my expectations were really, really high. And this is what I got. Well, uh, I'm not really sure how he does this, how he created these 3D graffiti things. But I have to say that I was kind of disappointed. Uh, you know, this is like a traditional font that you find on the internet, created in a 3D style. I expected something like this or something like this. But yeah, hey, uh, for six euros, this is awesome. However, yeah, um, could be better. The artist number six. With these calligraphy letters, I paid him 20 euros for one tag. That's, well, if I think about it, it's not that expensive, but in comparison with the previous guys, especially this guy who creates basically the same thing for a lot less money, it's been quite a lot. But yeah, hey, I asked him to make a tag Doker for me, and this is what he sent me. Bell. This is not made with a spray paint, but it definitely looks like that and well, what can I say? It's a lovely tag with a lovely details. I could definitely use this as a logo on my website. In that case, 20 bucks for this is really cheap. So artist number seven is this guy with pretty dope sketches. I paid premium price 44 euros and I expected a premium sketch. I asked him to do normal doak sketch. I picked one of his styles that I liked quite a lot. And this is what I got. Jibel! Look at that. 
this is a this is an awesome job for 44 euros man this is great this is totally awesome i like it a lot one little disappointing thing about this sketch is that he basically used the very same style that i picked as a reference once again it makes sense but i just expected something a little bit different but yeah hey i love it this is this is this is great this is probably the number one sketch on this whole list and here we go the last artist number eight is this guy with digital sketches i paid uh, 32 euros to him once again i wanted the dog sketch and this is what i got boom what can i say well for 32 euros this is a totally fair product but yeah hey i like it i like it a lot i mean some Things are a little bit uh, disturbing to me. Like the D is kind of. You know what? Never mind. I like it a lot. Yeah, except this thing over here. It's like. Eh. But yeah, don't listen to me. I always don't like something. This is really nice. All right, guys. And these were all the sketches that I got. Over here, you can see them one more time because I wanted to ask you which one of these sketches you like the most please let me know in the comments below i would make a poll over here in the corner but youtube doesn't offer this anymore and so we need to use comments if you want to know my opinion for me this is the number one this is the number two and this is the number three Alrighty, guys the summer is over i won't pay other people to do stuff for me anymore but yeah if you like this video thumb up would be awesome i was thinking that maybe i could make my fiverr page and i could make stuff for you guys um but yeah i'm back ready to smack it in the next few months so yeah see you there i won't pay other people to do stuff for me